Hi, I'm Mike Bloom. And I'm Kat Wargo. And we're here with the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation, and we're going to show you a cool new trick on um, creating breakout rooms in your classes and letting students swap back and forth very easily between those rooms. Uh, so I've just got a regular um, Zoom session open here, and I'm the host. And you'll see I've got breakout rooms here as an option here at the uh, bottom. And I'll click on breakout rooms. And now I can choose how many rooms I want. I'm going to choose four rooms, let's say. And then instead of assigning the rooms automatically or assigning them manually, I'm going to let participants choose their rooms. And I'll hit create. And now you'll see I have room one, room two, room three, and room four. Before I open the rooms, I can rename those rooms. So if I want to rename this room Ministry of Silly Walks or Cheeses of the World. Um, so now all I need to do is open all my rooms. And now, if you notice, Cat Wargo is unassigned. So I'll leave it up to Cat now to show you the kind of next part of this. Okay, my internet just went out, but it looks like I'm back. So what I see on my screen now is a breakout rooms feature that just popped up when Mike opened the rooms. And so I'm actually going to click on there. And we can see that there are different options for um, possible conversations that I can take part in in these different breakout rooms. And so if I hover over this little zero by each room, there's a join button. So I'm really interested in going into the Ministry of Silly Walks. I want to see what's going on in that room. So I'll join and it says join Ministry of Silly Walks. And yes, I want to join that room. And so it'll just take a moment to bring me over to the Ministry of Silly Walks. And now I'm in the breakout room. And if there were other individuals in this particular Zoom session, they would come into the breakout room as well, and we would have our conversation. And now you'll notice from my perspective, Kat has now left the room. And if I take a look at my breakout rooms in progress, I'll see there's the Ministry of Silly Walks, and I see Kat Wargo is in the Ministry of Silly Walks. I have the option to move her to another room if I'd like, so I can click Move To, and I can choose another room. Um, but she also has the capacity now to move from one room to another. Um, the really cool feature with this is that when you are in a particular breakout room, you can choose another breakout room to go to. So instead of having to go back to the main room, I could decide that I want to go to Cheeses of the World. So I can join Cheeses of the World And from the host perspective, you'll see that Kat has decided to go into the Cheeses of the World room. And Zoom will automatically bring me to that particular breakout room, which is a really fantastic feature. Say we're doing something like a jigsaw, where students are rotating between different discussion groups. This would be a really fabulous way to use this feature. And so if I want to go back to the main session, rather than um, choosing a breakout room, I'm actually just going to leave this room and then I will go back to the main session where I can join my instructor. And close all the rooms if I like. And now here she is back and I'm just going to go ahead and close this window. So you managed to uh, make your way around some of the rooms. Yeah, I think this is a really great way to allow students the opportunity to do some like station rotation kinds of activities. So not only could they take part in different discussions, but maybe there are different kinds of things you want students to take part in in each room and they can kind of rotate through. So I, I think that that's a really kind of um, phenomenal feature that Zoom's offering here. This has been Mike Bloom and Catelyn Wargo with the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. Thanks for watching.